Hello girlies, I'm back. So it's been a long time since I last posted. It's probably been like months. But um, I recorded this set around Valentine's Day. I just didn't get around to editing it. So now you're getting it. I'm using Nail Profs Buttercream today. Uh, if you haven't used her acrylics, I would definitely recommend. I'll probably link her website in the description. So, I decided to do short nails around this time. I was getting ready to take my practical exam um, here in Texas. And I've noticed that longer nails slow me down. So, I didn't want to have to do with that. I am happy to say that I did pass my practical exam. And I'm now licensed. If you need help um, passing your exam or studying, then I recommend going to Glam Beauty here on YouTube. She's who I looked at to study. Anyways, back to what I'm doing. Uh, this day, I was using the two bead method to apply my acrylic. I prefer to keep my shorter nails on a thinner side. I feel like when you do short nails thick, they look like teeth. They look funny. So, yeah, that's my opinion. I also wanted to say, uh, when you're doing shorter nails, don't think you have to have a humongous apex. Um, that's not necessary in my opinion. As long as you have a apex, you'll be fine. It doesn't have to be a humongous hump. Like, no, I don't agree. So keep that in mind if your short nails are looking kind of funny when you do them. I think shorter nails are harder to accomplish than longer nails because you have less surface area to work with. Um, so if you're having an issue with your short nails turning out clean and crisp, Practice, babe. That's really all I can say. Just practice. I really don't have much to say today. Um, further in the video, some clips did get deleted, so FYI. But anyways, please enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for those who have subscribed. I really appreciate it.